it was a spicy one from Torts, Frank. He's not afraid to go to that level. And I mean, clearly calling specific, or he doesn't get specific, but he clearly has names in mind when he makes those comments. Yeah, I mean, I felt like a huge chunk of that was directed toward Morgan Frost and his turnover in OT, which even though he's the guy that's, you know, scores the game tying goal with nine seconds left, sort of gives it back that extra point to the Islanders. Um, look, here's the thing. The Flyers are 7-15 and 15 since the All-Star break. They've dealt with a mountain of injuries. They had their top goalie uh, basically get arrested and, and leave the team. They've had some players like Sean Walker traded away. They've been in a tough spot this last number of months. And I, as much as I enjoy the quote and the bravado and the compete and the energy from John Tortorella, what I would really like is a healthy dose of perspective if I were a Flyers fan. Because through all these things, even last night, the, they, the Islanders probably should have scored at least one empty net goal to ice that game. The Flyers continued to work, continued to compete. They dominated the last two minutes in terms of creating some great looks and chances and finally dig through and get the game-tying goal to send it to OT. They don't quit, and they're severely undermatched or overmatched, I should say, on a nightly basis with the talent disparity between themselves and the other teams in the league. And instead of sitting back at this point and saying they've hung on as long as they possibly can and are still in a playoff spot, it's, you know, it's the continual hammer is being dropped. And I think part of that is, is building the culture. And I think that's, you know, that's great. And it is important to find out things about some of your players that you have, um, whether they can or can't do it in that situation. And even if you think that they can't to at least get that experience under their belt, but Man, I give this this actual roster full marks. Yeah, I know they've lost five in a row. Uh, two OT losses are part of that, so o three and two. But I look at this team and I, I don't I don't see quit for one second. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.